All right, we're going to go through and graph this hyperbola that we're given. So um, first thing you want to do is you want to figure out a and b, but a squared always comes first, b squared always comes second. So a is going to be 3, and b is going to be 4. Once I know a and b, I'm going to calculate c. And remember, c squared equals a squared plus b squared for a hyperbola. It's just the Pythagorean theorem. So um, c is going to be the square root of 9 plus 16 which is square root of 25 or 5. So this is kind of a nice hyperbola. It's like a Pythagorean hyperbola or something. I'm making that up, but it's not really a thing. But it's kind of like that. Um, the center, you just read off. So that's going to be uh, 3, negative 1. And then uh, you want to know uh, what direction it is. So x comes first, which means it's going to be horizontal, which means it kind of looks like that. Uh, so let's set it up. So I have uh, my graphing grid here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plot the center. And then uh, since it's horizontal, I move A units to the left and the right of the center to get the vertices. So I'll plot those points. And then I'm going to move B units up and down from the center to get to the covertices, like that. And what I want to do now is I want to um, dot in the corners of the asymptote box. Um, so. You can see two of them, two of them are on the y-axis, so they're not as clear, but I've dotted those in. And then I'm going to actually uh, draw in the asymptotes. So there's one of them, and there's the other. And so the graph that you make is going to go uh, through your vertex and then along the asymptote. So there's one part of it, and then through the vertex along the asymptote. And we can finish like that. Um, so that's the graph that we want. Uh, the next thing we want to do is uh, plot the foci. So I usually plot the foci last because a lot of people, uh, their tendency is to draw the graph through the foci if they've already plotted them, and it doesn't go through the foci. It kind of eats the foci. Um, so there are the foci. There are C units in either direction from the center, um, and you can see they're outside of the vertices. Uh, so let's list the, um, fo the vertices, covertices, and foci. So I like to list them with the uh, plus or minus. Uh, your teacher definitely might not like that. I actually prefer it. It's a lot easier to score when you're going through papers. Um, so I get all of these. So you can see the vertices. It's uh, You go left and right three units because it's horizontal. For the covertices, you go up and down four units. Um, and then for the foci, you go left and right five units. So I feel like if you write it that way, you really see what's going on. Um, I can calculate the eccentricity. That's just C over A, so that's actually pretty easy to calculate. And then for the asymptotes, what I'm doing is, um, as I explained in the previous video, I am changing it from being equal to 1 to being equal to 0, and then I would move the Y thing over, then I'd multiply both sides by 16, so I'd have 16 over 9, and then the X thing squared equals the Y thing squared, and then I'd square root it, and I'd end up here. Y plus 1 is plus or minus 4 thirds, and then X minus 3. And that's the entire graph. Um, that's pretty much all the information that you would have to list. And I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.